and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a seashell of vanity set. So this is the soap dispenser and the toothbrush holder and a little cup. I also have a little soap dish. It's a four piece set. I'm not sure that I'm going to decorate all four of them or maybe just a couple of them to put in my bathroom. I feel it's like maybe too many pieces that I do not need because this is for my second bathroom and it's not the bathroom that my husband and I are using. It is a bathroom that used to be for my sons, which are no longer living with us, but I still want that bathroom to look nice for when they do come to visit or when I have guests come over, uh, they can use that bathroom. So I've gone ahead and I've gone with a whole beach theme, and if you saw my video last Tuesday, I did a seashell wreath, which went into that bathroom, and as you saw there, the bathroom had already been painted. I put in a new vanity, a new sink, and a faucet. We also put a new uh, faucet in the shower, but I didn't show that. I don't think that was necessary. Um, and I also got a new shower curtain in there. So that's what I have in what I had in there last Tuesday. I've gone ahead and finished doing some decorations, and uh, so this is going to go in there. I also have a few little items here that I also want to touch up to also put in the bathroom. So I wanted to show you something that. Uh, my husband and I put together yesterday. We started a project to create a towel rack and then it occurred to me that I should be videotaping. So I went ahead and I did that and to show you that. So this is what you're going to be seeing right up. Okay, so we took this piece of weathered wood and we cut it the length that we wanted and then the dowel stick the length that we wanted and then we took this hardware that we got from Hobby Lobby, screwed it into the walls then of course put the dowel stick through them and the dowel stick was still able to slide a little bit in and out of it so I wanted to do something with the ends of wood and I thought well, maybe I use E6000 glue or Gorilla Glue to glue the wood on the inside of this metal part and I was looking at my wreath over it and then looking at the nice little rope wrapped details so guess what I decided to do come on over to this end and look this is all just wrapped around so now I'm going to go ahead and do this side and of course cover this. Oops, see how it goes through? But it won't go through the other way. It just won't go through because this is stopping it. And so now I'm going to do this other end and I've got my twine right here. So I'm going to start off by putting a dot of glue in the back, starting the raw edge of the string on the back, and then just wrapping and wrapping and gluing. Just little dots here and there, mostly the glue I'm putting it in the back so in case any of it uh, kind of squirts out I don't see it so I'm making sure that this one over here it's not you know it doesn't roll around and it's in the position that where it started the raw edge where I first started right here that's going to be towards the back so then I have it I'm holding it like that so that's where I'm going to start back here and then once in a while I do put a little glue little dots here in the front uh, where I do worry about putting glue is I'm going to put glue on the end here and then once I get to the edge and I've wrapped it all the way down to here I'm going to put glue inside there and then just coil it then put some more glue and then keep coiling the rope all the way till I get to the very end and then snip it and that'll be covered so let me go ahead and get started doing that <laughs> of items here that I'm going to be using to decorate. I've got some paint. I've got some rope. I actually got another one here, another rope trim. I've got some ribbons over here on the side that I used last week. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to use this little decorative filler items, some shells, a little netting, and I've also got these clear crystals here. And I've got these little bits of cotton branches that were in an arrangement that I'm going to be repurposing. I've got some little bits of grasses. Um, I've also got these little kind of like wheat stems. They look like wheat. And I'm going to be using these little uh, supplies to decorate uh, not only my ceramic uh, vanity set but also these some items that I have on the side which I'll show you in a minute. 
uh, but we want to go ahead and get started on this. I'm going to be using my hot glue gun. I've got my scissors, my wire cutters as my tools ready on the side, so that's what you will probably need if you want to do something similar. <clears throat> in here I've also got some white sand and some little uh, blue pebbles that I might be using in my items here. So let's get to first doing this vanity set. So let's pop this open and uh, let's decorate it. All right, so I've got my vanity set here ready, but before I get started, I did mention that I want to do some other little crafts uh, on the side, and I'll be doing those uh, after. I want to go ahead and start by uh, actually painting one of them and giving it some time to dry before I continue. So I'm actually going to show you that right now. I'm not going to decorate it, but I'm just going to show you what I'm going to do. I have this little framed uh, artwork here that I got from Hobby Lobby. I got it on clearance, and I probably got it either one or two, maybe even three dollars on clearance. I thought it was really cute. It does say baby bear. I <clears throat> wasn't uh, considering that I would use that baby bear um, artwork that's on there. I thought, well, I'll paint over it. I could paint black and just have the little bear symbol maybe. Uh, or maybe even for a little baby room would be awesome. But I don't have a little baby to decorate for right now. So I'm going to go ahead and paint over this. And I've got this uh, paint uh, from Apple Barrel right there. And this is called uh, Khaki. So let me show you that right there, what I'm using, the color. And I'm just going to squirt some of, some of this on here and paint it. And just on this, the bottom part here, I'm not going to paint the frame. And I like it because it kind of has like a little sand color. And then I'm going to decorate it, but I'll do that after. So I'm going to let this dry first. I might have to give it a couple of coats. But I just wanted you to see what I was doing because I wanted this to be another one of the crafts that I was highlighting. And I really wanted it to, to dry now before doing it later and then having to wait for it to dry. All right. There we go. Okay, so that's all basically that I'm doing some of the paint to get on over on the side walls. That's okay. I'm not going to worry about it. Okay, I might have to go with a second coat because of that black bear that was on there might uh, show through. Okay, so that's basically all I've done. I'm going to set it aside and let that dry. I'm going to go rinse off my brush and I will be back. Alright, so I'm back to now to decorate the vanity set. So I've got the soap dispenser. I know I want to use this. Uh, I want to decorate around this. I'm looking at the soap dish and uh, I don't think I'm going to be using it only because it's not going to be a bathroom that we're going to use a lot. So I don't feel we're going to need a soap and a liquid dispenser or liquid soap. Uh, so I think I'm not going to decorate this. Rather, I'm just going to save it. And I'm um, looking at these two uh, containers here. One's for toothbrushes and one's just a, a little cup. And it's probably not going to get used as well. So I think I'm just going to decorate these two items. But you can get the idea that this one can also be decorated however I do these two. I think this one, if I was going to decorate it, I would put rope all the way around uh, the edges. So let's just put them aside and let me think about that. Let me go ahead and get to this. I've got these uh, ribbons here that I used in my wreath. I don't have to use all of this. And I've got this one also with these beautiful little, what are these, uh, starfish. I know I want to use this one for sure to put around. So I'm going to go ahead and put this around first. So I'm just going to measure it and just cut it about half an inch longer than what uh, will go around. Let me do it again. Let me get this camera a little bit closer. Okay, we're just putting it around here and measuring and maybe just cutting just about half an inch more than what I think I will need. And because this is where it tightens up the most, I think this is going to be the side that we're going to be dispensing out of. I am going to put some glue a little bit on the ceramic bit, put this down, and then a little bit more on top of the ribbon and then place this other piece down as well. Got my hot glue gun here ready. There we go. Use the scissors to push it down. All right, put some glue here on this little ends here so they don't move around. All right, so now I'm going to bring this one. 
Just trying to make sure that it's even with this other one and then I can press it down. And there we go. Now, this little edge is flipping up so I'm just going to put a little bit there. Press down the edges. Alright, so that's it. We're just going to let that dry. <clears throat> And I don't think I'm going to use this one here, but I am going to use the one with the uh, the starfish. I think it's really pretty, so I'm going to use that. And as you can see, a lot of this ribbon actually gets hidden with it, but I do like the little shaggy bits on the end, so I'm going to go ahead and use this. And again, I'm going to trim it the same length as the other one where I measure, and then I just cut like a half an inch more half an inch to an inch more so it's always best to trim it cut it a little bit longer and then trim any excess and then um, you can go from there put one end down and the other and i'm going to do the same to the other uh, little container now this one went over by quite a bit more because i actually ended up pulling it and Cutting it longer than I thought, so I'm just going to put some glue on the ends of it and then push it down so it's all nice and flat on there. Okay, that's all I need to do to that. I am going to put some rope and I want to also put uh, some of these seashells. Now I have some pieces of rope that I left over cut, cut out from when I was doing the towel rack, so I think we use those. So let me see how long this is. This is about maybe 24 inch length of a ribbon, 20, 24 inches. And I'm just gonna tie it around and make a knot in the front. Let me lay it down here. Make a nice tight knot. Just like that. So it's just tied around. And then I'm going to trim them because they don't need to be any longer than the length of the jar. And they can just go wherever direction they want. And to this, I'm going to go ahead and hot glue a little shell. So I'm just going to pick a shell. kind of like this one. And I like this one because it does kind of have a little bit of these salmon-y colors in it. So I'm going to go ahead and use that. So I'm going to put plenty of glue in this little flat part where I feel it will rest onto the rope. Let's see. If I bring this down. No, I think I'm just going to have it kind of wailing over to the side. All right. Or flailing. What's the word? Wailing or flailing? It's flailing. Okay. There we go. Glue it down to the rope. You can lift it up and put a little more glue just down here just to make sure that it's grabbing onto something at the bottom. It's not really necessary. That'll just keep it from jiggling around. And there we go, we just put a little shell on it. Very simple idea, that's all I had to do. I'm gonna repeat it on my other uh, container. Um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and do the little, the little soap dish just to show you an idea of what you can do with that. But it's really uh, only gonna work if you have a soap dish that has kind of a thick side like this. Otherwise you might wanna do the top edge. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Get started with some rope. And start somewhere where I would think it would be the back of the top edge here. And just put some glue down. Get that edge on there of the rope. Ever so often, just put little dots here and there. You don't have to put all the way along. And then you're just going to go following all the way around the edge. And then we'll be back. Well, we're almost finished, so I'm just going to keep wrapping it around. All right, and we're back, and I've gone ahead and I finished putting all the little rope around these edges of this little dish where I'm going to be putting some soap. Um, I think it'd be cute maybe uh, to even add a little a little shell here in the front where you display it. That would be kind of cute. So let's go ahead and put that on there just for looks for now. 
especially if you have a little guest bathroom and you really can't do too much decorating in there maybe use just a you know half bath where you just have a toilet and a little sink you want to do some little decorations in there you have want to put a soap in there maybe just some a decorative soap there you go that's done so we have uh, our dispenser and our little dish and I've still got to decorate this one here but I'm gonna do the, the same as this and you'll see it all finished when I have it in the bathroom so I'm going to put these items aside. I've gone ahead and I've taken this little square thing and uh, I've gone ahead and put another coating of paint because uh, I could see the little bear, uh, the darkness of the bear come through. And what I did is I laid the paint kind of kind of thick on there and you can see kind of like in little waves. So what I did is I just kind of moved the brush in wave motions to kind of give it that little bit of a texture. And I'm going to let that dry like that so that's going to take a while but I'm going to put it in front of my little fan over here. So it can uh, go ahead and start drying. All right, let's go over to our next little project because I've got a few of them here. Let me move this out of the way because I'm not going to use the glue gun for this one. I don't think I am. We'll see. Okay, so I've got this container here. And this container has always had uh, these uh, clear marbles inside of it. Let me move my camera back a little bit and I will be right back. I'm going to put some little bit of sand. I have a little bag of sand here. It's this white sand. It's not very much, but I'm going to go ahead and pour that in there on the bottom. But I do wish I had more. So you get the idea. Just going to, we're going to create a layer of the sand. And then I have these little blue pebbles as well. And I don't have a lot of them either, so I'm going to go ahead and use some of that. But let me try and level this as much as I can first. That's pretty good. And then I'm going to try to put these closer to the edge to make sure that I do get some in there. And that I do create some sort of layer. There. Okay, this other edge needs some. That's basically what I'm doing is I'm trying to get it on the edge to create a, a nice layer. I'll put some in the middle just to make sure I get some color in there as well. Because I'm going to put these clear ones next. These are like little containers from a uh, Folgers Coffee, little plastic containers with little plastic leaves. These are really nice. Uh, they're, they're awesome for recycling them to use them or repurposing them because obviously you know, we're not putting it through a recycling uh, treatment, whatever that could be. So we're repurposing this container and I'm using it for storing items. And um, you could also maybe like cut a little slit up in the top here where you could drop some coins. Get the kids to start saving some change that you might find around the house. So that's a nice way to make a little piggy bank. You know, decorate it. Have the kids decorate it. Hey, maybe I'll have a video on that. Okay. Okay, here we go. Okay, so you heard me say it here first. All right, here. We're going to put these little marbles in here to create yet another layer. And I put some in the middle first to make sure that uh, the ones on the side don't go rolling off and then moving all my other little blue rocks. So, put the ones in the middle to hold the blue rocks in place. And now I can put these because I have way more of these. And I do have a ton of these. And I don't think I'm going to use them. Uh, as a matter of fact, I may end up putting them in that little glass. I mean, in that plastic container from the coffee. There we go. We've created a little bit of a layer situation. Now, um, you might want to make it bigger and, you know, taller. So now I'm just going to put some shells in there. Nice big one. Kind of a meatish one. And then something just a little bit different inside of there. That's what I'm going to put in there. And then I'm just going to put my lid. Now, if I wanted to make it even more decorative, what I could do is I could go ahead and just like I did um, the uh, little soap dish, I could go ahead and start covering this whole thing with rope. So that's an idea. Maybe I'll just do a little bit here and maybe just a little bit of the edge. Okay, here I have something else uh, that I didn't show you, but it was... 
it was just a little it's just a little towel handle little hand towel holder and I had it kind of in a bronzy dark brown color and uh, I didn't show you what I did with it all I did was spray paint it with some silver paint that I had uh, I think it was also from Rustoleum if not it's probably like uh, maybe yeah actually the, I'm looking at it now it's a Rustoleum and it's a, it's a kind of a mirror finish silver but it doesn't really have that effect on this particular item not to mention the fact that um, that particular day was really windy and maybe that affected the effect of the paint I don't know what I'm gonna do with this is the same thing I'm gonna take my rope and this time I'm gonna wrap it around this whole pole and I want to go covering it the whole thing just this particular part I'm not even gonna do the bottom part which I think would be probably the better idea instead of covering that what do you think oh my god I wish I wish you were here to tell me what you think should I cover this bottom part instead and not this? You know what, I think I am gonna do that. My idea was to do this, but I'm gonna do this. That's how things change, people. But I'm gonna do that. This is the same idea that you would do on that lid. Okay, so now I just realized, oh geez, I didn't even have to paint this because I'm gonna cover it. Now, if you were using something like an E6000, you could go ahead and put dots all the way around and then just go, putting this on there and not worry about picking up your hot glue gun and setting it back down. This is what I'm going to do. Try to make it as circular as po possible because it was getting kind of ovally. I'm just going to put glue on one side and then on the opposite and then on the other side again. And then, once I have the opposite side facing me, roll it, and then I'm just going to keep doing it like that till I'm done. And there we go. <laughs> I decided that that's where I was going to stop. You could go ahead and do all the way down to the edge because the whole time that I've been doing this, I was thinking, well, maybe I want to wrap a little bit on the top here. I'm thinking about it now and I really don't want to do it. Uh, let me think because I'm thinking about this little ball up here. If I could somehow crisscross. No, I'm just not going to do that. Okay. There's that idea. And I'm going to hang some towels here, which are probably going to cover this little pole anyway. But you'll be able to see this little rope on the bottom, and I think that's going to look really pretty. It's going to tie everything together. Uh, let's see, my little uh, frame is almost dry, but I'm going to go ahead and work my way to my next project. Last week when I showed you my haul, I showed you this little beach sign that I got from uh, Burlington. And then uh, we were at uh, Marshall's, and my mother bought me a... Uh, I actually don't know if she actually bought them or I actually ended up buying them, but she had picked them out for me. These little uh, ceramic, uh, these are little, uh, what could I call them? Because I don't have the box anymore. I opened it up. Anyway, they came with a scented oil. They were white and they're plaster, not ceramic, forgive me, plaster. So they're absorbent and they take in this oil so that it'll have a nice little scent and you can hang them in the bathroom somewhere, put them wherever you want. They have these little pretty little ribbon on them. They're really cute. Uh, but I went ahead and I painted them because I thought, well, they're white and they're kind of plain. And I thought, well, I'm going to put them actually on this beach sign. And I really don't need the little ropes, but I'm going to leave them on there. Or the little ribbon because I think it looks cute. I'm just going to put some hot glue on the letter here. And just glue down this particular. I don't want to be too hard on them because they do break very easily. This one had cracked here on this little tippy part. Uh, but I just hot glued it back on. This one I'm going to put at the little top of this H here. So now I have this cute little beach sign with some little, a little seahorse and a little uh, starfish. I keep wanting to say sea fish. I don't know why. Anyway, you could also use shells to decorate that, even some of the rope to decorate it. So here we go. That's gonna go on this little container uh, that where I had a little arrangement, but my little kitty cat had destroyed it. So I took the items out. Oops, there's still a little bit of a stick here from one of the items. Uh, and I left the, uh, it, it already has styrofoam in there. It's already been glued in there. And you can see all the little holes from all the other items that were in there. And then some um, green moss. 
and that's just nicely placed in there and I'm gonna put some little grasses in there and I uh, have some little um, other items here and some cotton that I want to put in there so let me put this out of the way because I don't want to knock it down let's bring all these little items over here now I just want to rest this wording right here in the front it just kind of rests on there on the edge somehow like that maybe kind of slant it a little bit so I don't want anything here in the front I just want greenery here or in the back and I don't want to permanently place this on there because um, I might end up not liking that and taking it off and I'm going to go ahead and glue this back on because it came off but thankfully it didn't break anyway I want to put this on there and like I said I don't want it to be permanent because maybe someday I decide to change my decor and I don't want the beach anymore but maybe I do want this little container and I don't want to ruin the little sign anyway so I'm just going to put it in there and it fits kind of tight so I'm going to leave it like that okay just leave it like that and now I'm going to put some little grasses in the back and I've got this lovely bits here push these ribbons out of the way okay. these little grasses that also have these little little bits here on these little tips here I want to make sure I use that so let's cut off a little branch and I've got my wire cutters right here and these are always really difficult to cut by the way it is just so hard sometimes you have to like twist 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 to get them off um, obviously I already got it off but anyway it, the only because I have a little bit of practice and um, I was already ready for it to be hard to do so I was already pressing hard anyway these little grasses some of them are kind of bent so I'm just gonna cut them off I'm not even gonna worry about them they're all kind of messed up and it's quite a bit of grass so I'm not gonna worry some of this maybe just in the length of them toss that to the floor where I can just sweep it up now these type of little grasses you could also take your scissors and they're kind of like curling ribbon where you could just do this and it curls it can you see that against the white of the table you can just take some and just curl just a few here and there you don't have to do them all can you even see that I feel like you can't but anyway maybe against my hand you can see where some of the little grasses got curled there there okay so I'm gonna put this nice big one right here in the middle make a little hole through the uh, moss get it out of the way and then just push it into the styrofoam right there that's nice let me see if I can get a couple more I want to make sure that it has that little the little little bit there with that little end oh yeah it does all right, the camera kind of shut down on me. Um, I had placed this last one, of uh, this one here behind. So now I'm gonna do this other piece. I have a third one. And I'm just moving the grass out of the way, sliding it in. And I'm gonna do the same thing that I did to the, um, the first one, is I'm gonna curl a few little grasses here and there, especially the ones kind of coming off the sides here, just for fun. Not too much. Maybe one up here. And I love it. This one's kind of broken, so I'm just going to cut that one off. All right, so then I've got these little, they look like wheat. <laughs> I don't know what they are. These little grasses. And I'm also going to insert them into my arrangement, and I want them to be kind of in front of these other ones. So I'm just going to go push it right in there. There we go. One on the other side. I have four of them, but one of them is kind of, I don't know. The edge of it is kind of breaking off. I shouldn't care. I'm going to go ahead and put it in there. Go behind here. Oops. Is it breaking off on me? I think it kind of was. And then I have a little tiny one that I'll put here in the front somewhere, but I don't want to put it in front of the sign. So nothing in front of the sign just right behind it just gently pressed it in there see just some little grasses keeping it simple I do have the these uh, stems that had little cotton balls let me show you that were also in the arrangement these 
And here where I live, there's uh, even near the beach, there's some cotton fields. So I feel like it kind of goes with this whole uh, look and it does uh, give it a nice little bit of a, a nice other color to it. But I don't think I'm going to use it. I'm going to keep it uh, simple. As a matter of fact, I'll use these for something else, maybe for more of in my house where I have more of a farmhouse look. And I'm just going to take a few of these little shells and uh, place them in there. I don't know if they're even going to be seen because it's going to be on a shelf on the wall. Uh, let's see. Let me get one of these bigger ones and just slide. Nope, that fell right on through because <laughs> there's no, no foam to hold it. So I'm just going to go ahead and nix the shell idea but I do have a little space here up in the front where I can put a uh, shell and I think I will put it right there a little kind of white beigey one and I'm not even going to worry that the handle is kind of in front of it I'm going to put that there and that's my little arrangement real simple let me get out of the way so you have a black, uh, gray background and white and gray there you go that's that all right, so um, what do I need to finish? I need to finish my little um, glass here, cup, whatever you want to call that. Let's push that out of the way. And I believe the last thing I have to do, yep, is my little frame that I painted. I don't see anything else that I was going to do. This is it. Okay, so I'm going to take some of this netting right here. I got this from the Dollar Tree, actually. And they do have some at Hobby Lobby that's a little bit tighter and it looks obviously more realistic than this one does. Because look how huge these uh, the pattern is on this. And that the one at uh, Hobby Lobby, it was a lot smaller little squares. But I'm going to go ahead and use this. I'm not even going to worry about how it looks. And I'm going to just kind of drape it across. Like this is the top right here, the corner. That's going to be my top. All this is the let's see let me put this on the table so you can see what i'm doing i'm trying to find the end the straight edge so i'm going to take all these little loosey bits here and then i'm going to knot them together hopefully and don't worry about it being a real neat knot or anything just knot it okay i'm going to take that little corner and i want to cover up some paint that got on there well they're on the sides that I'm not gonna do okay so I'm just gonna put some glue right up here in the corner put that right on there and I'm just gonna let this just just hang off the side I'm not even gonna worry about it and then I'm just gonna measure to see how long this is get back on here honey get back on here like so I spread it open and I'm not going to worry too much about how it's spread just just like it just got thrown there so if it's just got thrown there it's not going to be perfect so wherever a little string is laying on here I am going to put a dot of glue so a little dot of glue a little string or the threading of the net just to hold those ends there put those two together this is going to make a little bit of a mess because all these little webs are going to get everywhere. And I actually have a little fan going, so actually I'm going to grab that one there. Little dots, grab, dots, grab, dots and grab. And it doesn't have to be like tightly pulled. Let it just kind of loosely because then maybe it'll just kind of drape into the little bots and another one over here put these two together put these two together okay now that i've got them uh glued there now i can go ahead and trim letting the little end, edges be kind of just anywhere they want to be so there we go that's what the edges look like where I've knotted it I put it across so I don't need this anymore and I'm just going to take some shells I'm going to take this actually make a little bow out of it just because I can I don't want to I really don't want to over decorate anything which I kind of 
a little bit is, but I don't want to really, I don't have to use every single, um, let's say a lot of this is on my wreath. The netting wasn't, but a lot of the other stuff was like all these ribbons and the rope and things like that are on my wreath that I first created. And that was my inspiration uh, with the, the towels actually in the curtain were my inspiration, but then now the wreath has become uh, my craft inspiration where I'm making things or handmade items. And I don't want to have don't have to use everything that I used on the wreath on my other items. I can just spread the idea here and there, or at least spread the color. So don't think that just because, oh, this is gonna be for my bathroom and I'm using this ribbon, okay, I gotta use the ribbon and the rope on everything. No, just use them here and there, just spread out the, uh, the look, and just tie everything together with the colors and the theme. All right, so I'm just gonna grab a couple of, I like this one because I like all the little texture that it has. So I'm gonna use that one. Oh, let's see. I'm trying to pick out small ones. These little tiny ones. There's a kind of a dark colored one. All right. Let's go ahead and build this. Okay, I'm going to start off with a couple of these uh, just kind of white plain colored and just put some glue in the back of them. Glue them down. Let's see. Uh -huh, I need some more like that. I'm just sort of building a base is what I'm doing. So if you're wondering, what the heck is she putting those shells like that for? Um, maybe right about there. Okay, now I want this one. This one needs more glue, actually. Needs more glue so it stays still. And, well, that one's down pretty good. That one is too. Okay, because they've already dried. So they're nice and stuck on there. I'm looking for some more that have this texture because I kind of want to build on top of the other one. So I'm putting glue there. And I think... A little bit of glue right here. Let's see, right there. And I want this one on top of all these, so let's put some glue and see where it catches. It's catching more on this side, so I'll put some glue there, some there, and some on this one over here. All right. So I'm just building a layer. Of shells. Let's see, look at this pretty this pretty color. That'd be pretty also coming from the back here somewhere. Okay, now let's make sure that one gets in there. On top of those, I like this one right here on the edge. Like it's resting right on the ledge of the frame. Put some glue. So it catches everything. And then we'll put this guy kind of coming out. Put some glue down in there. Let's see. Is there another one like that? Sort of, but it's bigger. I think I'm going to put this one over here on this end. You can put them wherever you want. I'm just doing this. This is just you watching me kind of create. All right, put that one there. And then we've got these little baby ones. I think I want it down here somewhere. So put some glue on those shells and hopefully it'll catch on. There you go. And then I want this little baby one up here. So I'm just gonna put some glue on the rope. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> The shell was sliding off my finger and that was the closest thing I could find against me to push it, you know, to grab it right. Okay, there we go. That's all I'm going to do to that. So I made a little frame with some little shells. So let's go back and look at everything that I've created. So I'm going to show you them and then we're going to go into the bathroom and put everything in there so that you can see how it all looks put together. All right, everyone, here is my finished seashell vanity set. I'm going to give myself a big old thumbs up. I hope you give me a big old thumbs up. 
and I'm going to show you what my bathroom looked like before and what it looks like after I put all these items and a few other items that I've also placed into my bathroom and how it all looks all put together. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already subscribed uh, and share on your social medias and make sure you hit that little notification bell so that you all are notified of when I put up my videos. So every Tuesday is a craft video and every Friday is a recipe video. All right, everyone, let's go to look at the bathroom, but for now, as always, enjoy.